WON YouTube Networks is now on Facebook. Check it out. Son, I, I'm trying real hard to live up to your image, Hank. Save it, Drover. Get some shut eye. I'm making the rounds again in a few hours, and this time you're going with me. Okay, Hank. Good night. after these messages. Magazine reporter is coming over here. She just wants to do a photo shoot and have a one-on-one -on -one interview with Supergirl. She also said something about having Supergirl be a part of like a, a demonstration with an automated video camera or something. Anyway, I'll find out more details. What does this customer want me to do in this custom fantasy video? We want to feature you swimming and flirting underwater, kind of like an underwater seduction. I will not subject myself to this type of thing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be honest. 
He's willing to donate $10,000 to the charity of your choice for your children's fund. $10,000 for charity? Okay, I'll do it. This is Agent Pine 270. She fell for the trap. <laughs> Now back to CBS Storybridge. Head of Ranch Security. Just the sound of that title makes my tail wag. And now this, a murder right under my nose. <laughs> I can't afford to keep you dogs around here if you're going to let this sort of thing happen. Everybody has to earn his keep on this ranch, Hank. I can't afford to lose any of these chickens. You can't be soft with a working dog, ma'am. You're right, Slim. I guess I've spoiled him. It occurred to me that there wasn't much any of us could do for the dead chicken, and I was hungry. I don't want this to happen again, Hank. <laughs> but I decided against it. It wouldn't look too good if I ate the murder victim with all the trouble I was in. I can't help it if my feet hurt, Hank. I just need a few minutes to rest them. All right, you stay here and I'll finish the patrol. <laughs> I think I'll check on Drover and make sure he's taking care of business. Hmm, what are you doing? Oh, not so fast. What were you doing? Me? Oh, nothing. Ribbit. 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 <laughs> Playing with the frog on guard duty when we got a murderer running around loose? I got bored, Hank. Drover, there's only one thing that keeps you from being a good cow dog. What is it, Hank? You're worthless. I got no choice but to let you go. Please, Hank. Can't do it, Drover. Sorry. Oh, Hank, I got no place to go. No friends, no family. Nobody wants a chicken-hearted mutt. Give me another chance. No, all right, one more chance. But another dumb stunt and you're finished. Oh, you won't be sorry. No more frogs for me. I'll guard this chicken house and give my life if I have to. That's the spirit. Now I'm going to make the rounds again. If you see anything suspicious, give a holler. Nothing will get past me, Hank. No, sir. Oh! The machine shed, dang. Hey, I've seen him. I've seen him. He's terrible. Calm down and give me a description. I'm calm. I'm calm. He's big. And I mean big, huge, enormous. He's black and white and has a gigantic tail that whistles through the air and horns growing out of his head. And there's green slobber dripping from his jaws. It's a monster, Hank. A genuine monster. Think I can whip him? If anybody can, it's you. Okay, here's the plan. I'll make the first contact. We'll hold you in reserve. If I holler for help, you come running. Get in there with them teeth of yours and bite something. Got that? I, I got it. And, Drover, if I don't come back from this one, you'll have to go on alone. Take care of the ranch and be brave. Oh, Hank. <laughs> Boys. Oh! I, I 
could have sworn that was a monster. Oh, I'm thinking seriously about terminating you, Drover. I mean your life, not your job. Oh, but I'm too tired and stiff. Now what do we do? We got no choice but to stake out the chicken house and wait until our killer makes his move. Then we'll swoop in and get him. I'll take the first shift. Thanks, Hank. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, no. Hank, wake up, Hank. Please, wake up, Hank. I ain't asleep. I... There's been another murder. Dang, I was asleep. I was afraid of that. The M.O. is the same, Drover. What's that? It stands for modus operandi. That's detective talk for how it was done. Gosh, Hank, you know everything. Yeah? Well, I don't know who's killing these chickens yet, but I'm gonna find out. This time, I'm gonna make a thorough examination of the victim before Miss Sally Mae and the ranch hands get here. I'm scared, Hank. I'm scared. I knew I'd get a clue to the identity of my suspect if I could find any distinctive marks on the victim's body. The first step in my investigation was to get rid of the feathers. Unfortunately, my luck chose that moment to hightail it out of there. Hank! Now I've got you, you chicken killer! <laughs> We'll return after these messages. I think it's time for the real me to take over this operation. That's right, Supergirl. Show everyone your skills. See me? Show you my skills. Sad thing is, you won't be around to see the final act. Now the fun is about to begin. Sky Supergirl! <laughs> CBS Story Break. To think that all this time Hank's been the one killing my chickens. I tried to explain to him that I'd been performing one of them there autopsies on that hen when Loper found me and that they was blaming the wrong man. How could you do such an awful thing, Hank? Hank's useless on the ranch if we can't trust him with the chickens no more. We could build him a kennel. That's the stupidest idea I've ever... Yeah. It's expensive to feed a working dog that ain't working, Miss Sally Mae. Hank, what are you doing? I'm fixing to bust out of here before they lock me up and throw away the key. Hank, you can't leave. I'm through, Drover. I quit. But Hank, Hank, wait! What about the ranch? You're in charge now. Take care of things, son. I'm starting a new life. I'm hitting the outlaw trail, Drover. No, Hank. Next time we meet, I won't be Hank the cow dog. I'll be Hank the outlaw. So long. Oh, Hank. <laughs> we dogs get yelled at and cursed and kicked around. But when we're gone, people wish they had us back. Yeah, they'd cry over at the Pollo Loco when they found out that old Hank had moved on to a carefree life and... <laughs> hmm? <laughs> One of the first things a cow dog learns is that cow dogs and coyotes don't mix because cow dogs are devoted to protection of the home, livestock, and civilization. And coyotes are devoted to a lifestyle based on raiding, pillaging, and uncivilized forms of behavior. Ever instinct was telling me to walk away and leave this coyote gal to her feet, but I just couldn't do it. 
Pardon me, ma'am. Looks to me like you could use some help. <gasps> Don't be afraid, ma'am. I'm here to help you. Thanks for saving my life, handsome stranger. I'm Hank. Uh, Hank the cow dog, ma'am. Gosh, you're pretty. You can call me Missy. Hank. Wait! Uh, don't run away! <laughs> Come on, let's have some fun. <laughs> chicken ranch in the valley, don't you? I've heard my brother talk about you. Well, I quit that job to follow the outlaw trail. It's hard living out in the wild. You know, if things were different between us, if we hadn't met the way we did... We'd be enemies. It might be safer if you went back to your ranch and forgot about the outlaw trail, Hank. Oh, I ain't scared, Missy. <laughs> Listen to him, boys. He ain't scared. He chased my daughter up here without any people to protect him. And now he's surrounded, cut off, and otherwise in deep trouble. And he ain't scared. Daddy, Hank saved my life. He's my friend. <laughs> he saved her life. <laughs> ain't that a joke? <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like it, Snort. <laughs> And he's her friend. I always knew cow dogs was crazy, but this one's downright stupid. <laughs> I always did appreciate good humor. Well, I, I guess I'll be going now. Ah, one more step, and you lose enough hide to half soul an elephant, boy. Don't you dare hurt him, Daddy. He's nothing but a chicken dog. <gasps> it's Scrooge. You get out of his way. Nobody calls me a chicken dog, Buster. Well, I'm calling you a chicken dog, chicken dog. What are you gonna do about it? Hank, be careful. Scrounge is my brother. I know him. If you make him mad, he'll tear you apart. He's an outlaw. I know. Now that I think on it, I'm sure I've seen his picture on the wanted poster down at the stockyard. Hmm. Let me handle this my way, Missy. <laughs> We're gonna see one heck of a fight now. <laughs> Chicken dog, wandering up here was the worst mistake you'll ever make. And it's gonna be your last mistake. I wouldn't count on it, Scrunch. You see, you've walked right into my trap. What trap? The rest of the posse will be along any minute now. They're after the reward, you know. You're lying. Am I? Just ask yourself what a smart cow dog like me's doing up here. Think about it hard. It ain't over between us, chicken dog. Get out of here, Scrunch. Don't let the posse get you. Phew. You were bluffing. And I'm going to be proud to have you for a son-in-law, too. Yeah. <laughs> son-in-law? Daddy, please. Oh. There's an old coyote tradition of adopting a brave dog and making him a brother. Just call me Old Gut, son, and welcome to the family. But... Well, you said you was gonna start a new life, Hank. Following the outlaw trail ain't as dangerous when you've got friends. Well, okay. I ain't never going back to the ranch, so I might as well stay here with you. <laughs> All at once, I had no responsibilities. No cares, no worries. I could go to sleep and not have to wonder if my ranch would make it through another night. Or if I'd get yelled at again for something I hadn't done. After just a couple of days, I knew I'd found my true place in life. As an outlaw. Yep, goofing off beat the heck out of hard work. But I was glad my mama couldn't see me. Jackrabbits run too fast and we get tired of chasing them, don't we? <laughs> Chickens just sit on their nests until we grab them. And tonight, I'm gonna lead a raiding party and we're gonna grab all you can eat. Scrunch has organized a raid on the ranch and he wants you to go along, Hank. What? A raid on the Pollo Loco? Wait! I, I can't do that, Missy. Yes, you can, Hank. You'll be fierce and wild and wonderful. 
I know you're gonna do right by my little girl tonight, son. And when you get back, we'll start making plans for the biggest wedding in coyote history. But, but... Hank can lead us right to that chicken house, can't you, boy? <laughs> First, we gonna take care of that other ranch dog, ain't we? <laughs> Drover's a chicken-hearted little mutt, and he'll just run for the machine shed when he sees us coming. He won't cause no trouble. But that ain't very sport. I don't want my sister marrying no chicken dog. So tonight, I want to see if you got the guts to be a real outlaw. <laughs> Sounds like you know your way around the poor your local scrunch. I've been there a couple of times recently. Yeah, that's what I figured. You come down alone and kill two hens, and now you decided to let the whole pack in on the feast. Yep. Now be quiet and remember, I'll be right behind you. Oh, wait. Uh, I better go down there alone and, uh, uh, and scout around first. All right, but hurry up. Psst. Grover! Oh, my gosh! Who's there? It sounded like... Is that you, Hank? Oh, you're a pitiful excuse for a night watchman, son. I could have carried off half the chicken house just now. I know. I'm a failure. It hasn't been the same around here since you left. I wish you'd come back. You can forget it. I've hooked up with a band of coyotes. Real fine folks they are, too. Took me right in and made me one of them. No! I just come to give you a warning, Drover. A bunch of us are on a raid, and I don't want you to get hurt. Run for the machine shed and stay there. A few days ago, you were on the side of law and order, trying to catch a criminal. Now you are one. Oh, you should admire you so much. You were my hero. Knock it off. I don't want to hear that stuff. <sighs> what was that? It starts a signal. Do what I told you. I'm not gonna run, Hank. Somebody's got to protect the ranch. You think you can do it, you little coward? I may be a coward, but I'm not a traitor and a bum. Goodbye, Hank. Traitor? Bum? Why, you little sawed-off pipsqueak? <laughs> run for your life, Grover! I'm not gonna run! I'm not gonna run! They're behind you! Look out! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! We treated you like a brother, but you're a lousy turncoat, Hank. Let's get him! Drover! You killed Drover! Now you're gonna die, chicken dog. The little mud had his faults, but he tried his best to be a good cow dog, and now he's dead. It's just you and me, Scrunch. Bloody torn nation is going on. You ain't heard the last of me, chicken dog. It's all over for you, Scrunch. Well, look at that. Hank's come home and he's caught himself an outlaw coyote. I'll call the sheriff. <laughs> Aside from a few scratches, he ain't hurt none. That coyote was our chicken killer, all right, and Hank took care of him good. I certainly was wrong about you, Hank. You're the best cow dog that ever lived. Can you forgive me for doubting you, boy? <laughs> oh, oh, Hank. Oh, Drover. Oh, the poor little thing. <laughs> he must have got killed in the fight. But there ain't a mark on him. He's alive. Let's get him into the house. Be careful with him. The little guy was half-stepping. I knew it. Scrunch hadn't touched him during the fight. He fainted. Now he figured to get a cozy bed in the house and lots of warm milk. <laughs> I guess I couldn't blame him.
You're a mess, chicken dog. And when was the last time you took a bath? You stink worse than a coyote. Pete, in the hills, we don't argue with smart mouth cats. We eat them. You mangy hound! Yep. Make the world a little safer, a little better, and the very people you're protecting will blame you when things go wrong. But if you were born a cow dog, it's all part of the day's work. We'll return after these messages. You want to write an article about Supergirl and have an exclusive interview with her? I think I can arrange that. This could be the magazine's biggest scoop of the year. This is an opportunity of a lifetime for people all over the globe to get to know Supergirl. We brought some props for you, and what we want you to do is to demonstrate your strength for both the photo and the video shoot. Now, you understand everything, or do you have any questions? Oh, well, I do have a question about the custom video shoot. Um, I would like some more details. We want to feature you swimming and flirting underwater, kind of like an underwater seduction. I will not subject myself to this type of thing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be up. He's willing to donate $10,000 to the charity of your choice for your children's fund. $10,000 for charity? Yep. Okay, I'll do it. Agent I-270. She fell for the trap. That's right, Supergirl. Show everyone your skills. See? Show you my skills. Sad thing is, you won't be around to see the final act. Back to CBS Storybridge. 